In this video, you'll learn about virtual court and what you should do as you prepare for your virtual hearing. Virtual court is like in-person court, except it uses a video conferencing platform like Zoom. Courts use virtual court to protect public health, help hearings move faster, and remove the need to drive to and from the courthouse. Your notice of a virtual hearing should include the date, time, and details for access to the virtual hearing, usually called a meeting ID. You can also get this information from the court coordinator. A week before your virtual court hearing, you'll want to do a few things. First, read the local rules for your court. Texas courts have the power to make their own rules that tell you about court procedures, how to file legal documents, and appropriate court attire and behavior. You must follow the local rules when filing legal documents or appearing in court. You can find your court's rules on the court or county's government website or by searching local rules in your county on Google. Learn how to dress for court. Dress in a way that shows respect for the court. This includes button down, long sleeve shirts, slacks, khakis, nice jeans, blouses, and dresses and skirts at an appropriate length. Though the lower half of your body might not be visible, you should dress appropriately in case you end up needing to stand during your hearing. Many courts require visible tattoos and piercings to be covered. Do not wear anything that will cover your face like hats or sunglasses. You should be able to wear head coverings for religious or medical reasons. Talk to court staff before your hearing if you have questions. Prepare your evidence and documents. Gather everything you plan to give to the court as evidence. Write down any questions you're going to ask your witnesses. Look at your court's rules to find out how they handle evidence. The court might want you to send the exhibits directly to the court coordinator, file them before the hearing, or upload them to a shared drive. Make an outline of your argument. This will help you remember what you want to say. It would also let you practice ahead of time. Read all the legal documents filed in your case, especially the ones from the other party. If you do not understand something, talk to a lawyer. File all legal documents at least seven days before your hearing or trial. Fill out any proposed orders or decrees with the results you want for the judge to sign. Request a licensed court interpreter for your hearing if you need one. If you have time, watch a live stream or visit the courtroom where your hearing will occur so you can see what happens in court. Do a test run on the virtual platform the court uses. Test your internet connection. Make sure the device you're using is charged and there is a charger within your reach. Use a headset or headphones with a built-in microphone if possible. Make sure you have all the paperwork you need. Set yourself up in the most private, quiet place you have available so you can hear and be heard with no distractions. If you're using your phone, prop it up so you can look at it without holding it in your hand. Check your lighting. You want the light to be in front of your face so your face is not shadowed or dark. Pause a moment before speaking in case there is any audio video lag to avoid confusion. Mute yourself when you are not speaking in order to avoid background noise. When speaking, look directly at the camera, not at the screen. Do not use other devices during your hearing. Most Texas courts use Zoom for virtual hearings but some may use Microsoft Teams, Court Call, or WebEx. Your notice of virtual hearing will usually say which platform the hearing will use. If you cannot find this information, call your court coordinator and ask. You can learn more about the platform you will be using on texaslawhelp.org's virtual court section. Court can be overwhelming even if you're appearing virtually. Taking the steps discussed in this video can help you be confident and organized on the day of your virtual hearing.